yeah, it's back. <clears throat> What's up, everyone? Welcome back to another episode of Diesel Dog Garage. If you guys have been following my channel, you know that I did lifters in this Avalanche 5.3. It's a 2007 Avalanche. And uh, you also know we've been having not the greatest time with this thing. It's back. Haven't had any issues for a while. He's been driving it for weeks now. So he put over a thousand miles on it and never did anything. It ran good. He, uh, was getting ready to trade it in. He bought a new vehicle. And then he had another lifter collapse. Uh, I suspect it's probably the same one we were having issues with, number four. So that's going to be the first one I check. Got to be due. Got to be due, guys. I worked on it, and now I own it. I'm going to rip the part tonight and hopefully get the lifter that I find collapse released. Try to get it back together, maybe. See how I feel. It's Monday. If I've ever had a case of the Mondays, it's today. But you got to do what you got to do. It's got to be fixed. It's got to be fixed right. That's how it goes in the business, man. You can't win them all. You're going to have troubles with... Every once in a while, you're going to have troubles with a vehicle. And unfortunately, having troubles with this one. At least I can get it ripped apart in like 10 minutes now because I've had that intake off like five times now. A couple sloppy joes and a ski leader. I'm feeling pretty good. Yep. Side is going to go in, just pull the intake first instead of pinpointing which side because. Uh, it's gonna to have to come off anyways. I'm gonna pull the intake and then I'm gonna pull the right side valve cover. We'll start there. Love and life, love and life. Right now everyone's probably like, geez, dude, how come you can't figure this out? I don't know. Definitely one of those things where if I did this at the shop, I wouldn't have a lick of trouble. Try doing a guy a favor on the side into a nightmare this is why i steer away from side work unless i really know someone i just assume not get involved <laughs> hey guys just a heads up usually it helps to unplug the fuel line before trying to pull the intake off Smells like gasoline in here. Coils. Valve cover. All right, guys, moment of truth. If uh, you remember, it was this one right here that was giving us trouble. And that would in fact be the same one now collapsed again. Always the same one. Always the same one. So, gonna take our uh, our DOD oil manifold off the top. And if you remember the last video, we replaced that and uh, try to get this thing released. So we never did actually show this part last time releasing the lifter, but basically this is your push rod that's sitting down too far because the lifter is collapsed. And uh, 
you're gonna release it by tapping on it. I'm using this screwdriver right here. It's a Phillips, worked pretty good last time. I've seen guys make up some tools for this, but uh, this thing's worked pretty good last time. So you're not gonna wanna get too aggressive with it right away. You're gonna just try to be tapping on it. You can stick it in there, use a hammer, watch your push rod. It's just gonna jump out of there once this thing snaps. Let's see how many taps it takes. Now the question is, do I put it all back together and let him drive it? And hopefully it doesn't do it again. Change oil, put a better oil in it. Um, the other thing I noticed is that the, the other thing I noticed is that the top of the oil manifold, it's got oil all around there. So I'm wondering if maybe if the O-ring on the oil pressure sensor here is, uh, blown out or bad, maybe it dropped pressure enough through this manifold that, uh, you know, caused that lifter to collapse. So I'm gonna pull the sensor out of there and I'm dripping oil everywhere. So I think we might be onto something here, guys. Pulled the uh, little screen out that sits underneath the oil pressure sensor and might have found a little bit of metal in there. So I went in and drained the oil right away to take a look at it and it's not looking good. So here's that little screen that sits underneath the oil pressure sensor. That's, uh, that'd be metal. Let's see if it'll focus. Yeah, look at that. Oh man, <laughs> oh man. Here's his drain plug. That's metal on the end. That shouldn't look like that coming off. I wiped it off. Shouldn't look like that. That shouldn't look like that. So I'm suspecting that this thing's had an engine going out here this whole while. I uh, never did have any metal showing up before, so I didn't suspect anything major catastrophic failure going on but obviously it's got some eating itself whether it's the engine or maybe an oil pump going out i don't know i gotta talk to him and see what he wants to do but we definitely have a some other issue going on other than the lifters i would imagine that possibly the tolerance there for the lifters just worn out and it's not getting the proper oil pressure to keep it uh, the collapsed correctly. I hate breaking bad news to people, but I can honestly say it's nothing I did because all I did was put lifters in. That's what I was told to do. That's what we did. Ran into all these issues and now we finally got something showing up. So at least we're not chasing a ghost anymore. So that's going to do it for me on this Monday night. I'm going to wrap it up here and talk to him and then I'll do an update video after this. If you're new to the channel, subscribe and uh, follow along on my journey on the avalanche that won't go away. It's like a Jesse James said it best. And I think it was an episode of West coast customs. He was saying, he's like, it's like a booger. Like you pick it and like, and then it's on like your elbow. And then like all of a sudden it's like on your ear. That's how I feel about this thing. This is like a booger that just, you can't get it. can't shake it. So we're going to continue working. I'll keep doing videos. If not, we'll see what he wants to do and I'll update you guys. But uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.